Oh, what's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Tectonica. So, in the last episode, we redesigned our factory. And today, we're going to continue designing our factory. But we're going to do something first because we're so close. I don't think it would be too hard to go ahead and hit this next tier of things mining drills, smelters, conveyor belts, inserters, processor units. I think we can get all that made and I think we can get this done and then we can get the uh, the next tier of stuff and then we can get some electric stuff going and I think it's going to help a lot and if we could get that going before we really start expanding because I have a feeling like the electric stuff is going to be kind of like the basic stuff we use um, I'd like to get that going first so we are going to focus on that today we're going to get some fuel into everything get everything fired up and we're going to do some making of the things so um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy if you do like subscribe all the fun things ideally in this episode we'll uh, get some things unlocked and check out some new things so it's gonna be a fantastic time all right so let's go ahead and let's sort that let's grab all of that let's make sure that these are all topped off okay so that's got 150 uh these all look pretty good oh that's right you can actually see uh how much is in there so 240 222 222 uh 351 i love that one thing like so storage container 50 i can see that there's 50 in there i can see there's 50 just, that is fantastic that is absolutely fantastic so um let's go ahead let's get rid of that off my screen let's put the scanner on and let's go refill these bad boys up shall we okay so i have a bunch of stuff crafting right now i want to head up there i feel like there's something like super secret amazing up there and i want to go see what it is so let's go ahead and let's put this here and let's make like a little platform like that and then if i can get up there oh snap there it is okay what is it is it gonna be good what do we got advanced core utilization assembly unlocks wait what did that actually unlock core utilization mining oh my gosh look at all the different tiers of stuff they have so we don't have the blue stuff scan core utilization mining so i guess that's going to increase I, I don't know something i don't know <laughs> i have no idea what's gonna increase okay so um yeah we're going to, we're crafting a lot of stuff by hand but yeah it is taking a while i could see why maybe it'd be ideally to make these things in the machines but i feel like by the time i got everything set up we would automate stuff that we're not going to need anymore you know what i'm saying um, like i'd hate to automate the basic mining drills and smelters when like there's gonna be electric drills and electric smelters and stuff like that so I don't really want to automate those yet unless the electric drill is going to take a drill and then some like electrical component kind of thing oh man i could definitely see that happening uh, but we're gonna wait i'm gonna wait i'm gonna try to get as much of this stuff done by hand as possible so that way we can go ahead and explore the uh the new things also i do need to make more of these power cores as well okay that's just gonna take too long by hand that's not gonna be any fun we're gonna do the smell we're gonna we're gonna assemble them we're gonna do it like the game wants us to i know how it wants me to do it and we're gonna do it um so let's go ahead and let's get some assemblers t toggled here um those are gonna allow us to make the different parts that we need and let's see i already have some assemblers so let's kind of go figure out what we need to start with here so let's go ahead, let's give some space here let's put that one down there and let's leave some room right there okay so we've got all of these different things to make now ultimately we need to make a bunch of mining drills smelters those require copper components and mechanical components um that basically requires like all these basic items well for the most part so we need to get all these basic items going so let's go ahead let's work on that kind of get back to where we were and um so let's see we'll just do iron one side we'll go to iron right here and then that will allow us to make uh let's see this and this and then we'll do copper and then we'll start getting into the mixed bag items I'm going to leave room so that way we can expand as needed. All right, so let's go ahead and let's select um, iron frame. Iron components. I want to get these all marked out so we can know where everything's going. Copper frame. Copper components. And then copper wire. Now from there, we're going to get into the tier two kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and let's get um, these down. Now I'm going to need room for more belts. So let's go ahead and set that up there. Set that up there. We'll go ahead and set this up here. And then let's kind of see what we got going on here. Okay, so mechanical components. That's going to be iron components and copper. All right, so that is easy enough. And then we've got electrical components. That's going to be plant fiber, plant matter fiber, and then copper. 
So iron and copper, plant matter, fiber and copper, plant matter, limestone. Okay, we're not gonna mess with that. Process unit, that's gonna be electronics. Okay, so that's gonna be the next tier after. Um, iron components and copper. Wait, isn't that the same as iron components, copper, iron components, copper. Okay, so it would make sense to have a conveyor belt right next to that. And then from there, um, we're gonna, I think we're gonna hand produce these production core units because I just don't feel like we're gonna need like a ton of them. Um, so if I get those going, we need to get the processor unit and electrical components going as well. So processor unit is two electrical components. So we need to get electrical components going. So that's gonna be plant matter, fiber, and copper, and then electrical components and iron. Okay, so let's actually get rid of this one because we already know what we want for these two. So the next one after that, let's go ahead and set these two machines up here. Something like that. Uh, let's do electrical components. And then, ooh, we're gonna need electrical components for, for, for the processor unit though. That's fine, we'll do electrical components and then we'll do processor unit there. Okay, so now we have a rough idea of what's gonna go where. So let's go ahead, let's get some belts ran here. Um, so these need iron. I know these need iron. Uh, these just need copper. These need copper and iron components. And then these need copper ingot. And this one I think needs iron, right? Iron ingot, okay. Okay, so this is where the belt shenanigans is gonna get interesting here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build some more belts because I have like no belts. Okay, so I actually just had an idea. Actually, I don't think this is gonna be hard to do whatsoever. I think we're gonna pull a satisfactory here and we're gonna do this. Oh, I need more belts. We're gonna make a bus line here. So we're gonna have one there and we're just gonna we're just gonna make these go up and then we should be able to attach. Oh my gosh, this is actually so much easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so there's gonna be copper and iron coming out here. And then from there, we're gonna have more components. So we can go ahead and set another line up here. And right now, actually, you know what? Do we really need to bring, yeah, let's just bring all these down. Okay, so I put a little platform here so we can continue uh, our elevator or our uh, conveyor belt shenanigans so we can reach all the way up here. But I'm basically just putting a bunch of these down. So that way we can attach and, uh, and connect to these as needed. Now, getting these to store might be a whole nother story. <laughs> uh, getting like a, a conveyor or like a, um, a storage system for all these, that might be interesting. Okay, so let's just deal with what we got for now. So here's our bus line. Let's go ahead and get, um, whoa. Let's get our iron and our copper going. Okay, so there's gonna be copper, there's gonna be iron. Now, I don't think we're gonna, I think we're gonna need probably, this belt hooking onto this as well. Otherwise it's gonna be too slow. So let's go ahead and let's get a, uh, let's get our fast inserter, put it on there. That's gonna take those out. And then actually we're gonna delete that one, place it this way. So that way they can fill that belt. And then that belt is gonna be our iron. Okay, so now we need to do the same thing for copper. So we should be able to go like that. And then let's see if we can get this to work here. If I go this way to here and that way to there. I don't know if that's gonna work cause that's on a turn. So is that gonna work? Oh, it does, it does work. It totally does work. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I love it when things just actually, like, actually work like they're supposed to. Okay, so now we need to pull that iron and bring it over here. So let's go ahead and grab some belts and then we're gonna run that just right here like that. 
hook that up. Perfect. Then we'll just do some... Oh, I'm going to have to get some more inserters. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get the copper going now. Uh, basically, it's going to be the same thing. But we're going to hook on to copper line. Oh my gosh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. <laughs> it's, so, it's so easy. Um, you know what? Let's get, some, let's get some fast inserters. Why not? Let's try to use fast inserters anywhere we can. And then while those inserters are being made, we'll go ahead and get everything else figured out. Okay, so from there, now we need copper ingot iron components. Copper ingot iron components. Okay, so copper ingot. We can go ahead and pull that. Iron components. We can go ahead and pull that. Um, so copper will go from here to there and then iron components. Okay. Which one's going to be iron components? That is copper. Okay. So this one's going to be iron components. Now in order to do this, we kind of have to start at the belt itself. So that's going to go there. And then this one. is going to go like that. So that's going to send those up there. So let's go ahead and get this guy going. Get that one there and get this one there. That one there and then that one there. Okay. So those are going to go. Now those work off the powered platform, which is amazing. Uh, so we can get these guys going. And then those are going to have to go up even higher, too. Oh, my gosh. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Because we have to get them way up there now. Okay, so let's do this. So that one's being utilized. So next one is going to be this one. So we'll go ahead and go down like that. And then hook this into here. And then we need to do the same thing for that one. Is that actually connected? It's not actually connected. But that's not really an issue because we can just go ahead and stick on that. And that'll get going onto that belt. Okay, so that belt's good. That belt's good. That one. Is the top one good? No, not quite. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, shoot. They're going the wrong way. Ah, darn it. Okay, so now it's going up. And I should be able to put this one there. That connects into that. But it didn't create a box. That's okay. Could just be visual. And then we have to have a third one, too. Oh, my gosh. This bus line is huge. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we got to go up with another one, too. Holy moly. Uh, this is actually going to the top line now, too. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, my gosh. But it's working. And that's what really matters. So that can go there. That can go there. Okay, so we've got... Uh, let's go ahead and get some more fast inserters here. And let's go ahead and get a couple more belts going, too. All right, so we've got... Bars, copper, we've got the frames, we've got mechanical component, part pieces, we've got frames, copper parts, and then I'm guessing the top one's going to be wire. So now I actually need to bring down this belt into here. Um, You know, I'm thinking that we're going to have to have another belt line here because uh, we're getting almost too high where it's like not really possible. It'd be nice if there was an elevator. I don't know if there's going to be an elevator. I feel like there probably will be eventually. Stack inserter, but like maybe there'll be an elevator at some point. I have no idea. Okay, so let's just focus on getting these pieces down. All right, so there goes those. So now we're going to need um, some inserters to grab the close ones. And then we're going to need some long inserters. Are these filter? Long inserter. Let's get some of those going too. Some long inserters so, so they can go ahead and grab this copper and then bring that into there. 
And then these need an output as well. I'm trying to figure out how we want to output these. I like this. However, um, maybe, maybe I should build one on this side. Hmm. Okay, so here's our long inserters. So they're gonna go from there to there, there to there. Okay, so that's gonna work there. Hey, oh my gosh, we got all kinds of things going. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run another bus line on this side over here. Um, so we'll go ahead and just get a couple things going on, on this side. Is that gonna be far enough away if I wanna pull more machines in there? You know what, let's bring it out further. Just in case I want to throw some more machines in here, I want to make sure that we have room for it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and throw these like this. So there's two items, and there's going to be three, four. Okay, so there's those. So now we can pull from this side or this side. Okay, cool. So then let's go ahead and let's just start with this one, going straight out to this belt. And then we'll get this guy connected with this belt. So grab that, bring this over there and there. Okay, so those two are attached. Let's go ahead and get some regular fast inserters on here. So those will take those out, those will throw them on that line. Okay, perfect. So now these guys, what do you need? So plant matter, fiber, and copper, electric components, and iron. So it needs this as an input for this. Maybe I should go ahead and move this forward. Yeah, let's do that. Let's actually move this one up one. And the reason for that is so that way we can just continue expanding. Yeah, so we'll put that there. And then this is going to need those. And then we'll just use the uh, the belt system. That way I can add more of these this way. I can add more of these this way. I want to keep the same inputs for the same items. So like if I need any more of these two items, you know, I can just extend this belt out. I don't really have to do a whole lot of redesign here. So that will make sense. Okay, so for this guy, copper ingot, plant matter fiber. Uh, we don't have a plant matter fiber line yet. So we might have to figure that out. And then we need a copper ingot as well. Let's go and bring that down. And then what did you need? Iron ingot and electrical components. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring our belt out here. And then we'll th throw a, uh, a split right there. And then basically I need to bring all these other belts out the same. Okay, so there's all of our items there. Now we don't have the plant, plant matter fiber thing yet, which is okay, I guess. <laughs> so I can't hook those up until we get that going, but we can get this laid out for this belt over here. Let's go ahead and expand these out. Okay, so these belts are starting to fill up, which is kind of why I was trying to figure out how I want to do the storage on these. Now, we could possibly run storage units on this side, and I could have them basically come down and back up just so there's not a backup. But getting it to do that, well, you know what? I think we can make it happen. I think we can make it happen. And then we also need to get that plant matter fiber stuff going too. So let's see, this is seeds. This is the plant matter. Okay. So we need to autumn, we need to get some of this going into a machine as well. We could actually just run, we could just put that machine right here. And 
and I could disable because we have two here I could essentially disable this one and let whatever goes through get turned into the other stuff let's just do that perfect okay so we'll do that and let's go ahead and get a fast inserter we'll just throw that in here and then this is going to do this We'll go ahead and do two of those and then we're gonna output it to do i really want to output it to the the next highest up line oh my gosh yep yep might as well all right there it is out of planter what plant matter oh it doesn't have power oh okay hold on a second so if i actually I was actually kind of curious about this. So if I run these like that, will that run power up to here? Hey, there it goes. Okay. Um, so there's our conveyor belt going down. It basically just followed what was already there. So <laughs> it is what it is. It's fine. I'm not worried about it. All right. Let's go ahead and get this belt. Extended all the way down here. That is a very, very tall belt. And I, if I'm not mistaken, I need to bring that plant miter right here. <laughs> yeah. Oh goodness. This is going to be interesting. Okay. So let's get that there. We're going to have to go from the top. Um, I want it to be on the side like that. And I want it to come down. Hopefully it's enough. No, it was like one off. Perfect. Okay, so that should bring down that plant matter fiber stuff, right? Oh, what the heck? Wait, what? What the heck is going on here? That works for all the other ones. Okay, I don't know why that one needed to do that, but it did for some reason. So let's get this hooked up. There's that one. And then let's grab our long grabber dealio. There's that one. And then that's going to output to... Let's go ahead and grab our quick inserters. It's going to go there. It's going to go up there. Okay. <laughs> all right. So there's our electrical components that we're going to need. Now we need to bring basically bring those all the way back this way. <laughs> oh, I know. It's wonderful. All right. So there's those. Those are going to start going down here. And then we should be good. Put that there. What the heck? Uh, we should be able to grab our long inserter. Where are you at? Put that there. And that's going to give us an output of processor units. Okay, now processor units, we need to send back to a line. And, man, this all this rock stuff right here is going to probably be in the way. And we need to get storage units going for all of this. So that way it's not just sitting here not getting made. I'd rather have stuff being made than not being made. Okay, so there's the line. Everything is hooked up. Everything should be running. Let's go ahead and get this gun here. And we've done it. Okay, so all that stuff's automated. Now, let's go ahead and let's get these into storage containers. So that way we're not worrying about things just piling up for no reason. Um, they can get stored if they need to. Now... I think the best place to put the storage container is probably... Well, actually, it doesn't matter because we're going to have one going in, one going out. And if the one going out is full, it's not going to really matter. Okay, so we need to figure out where the heck we can put all these storage units at now. And we need a few of them. So let's go ahead and grab some more storage units here. Okay, so iron and copper is already being bulk stored. So we don't need to worry about those. So the first thing we need to worry about is these frames. Those frames need to get dropped down into here. Hmm. You know, this is going to be interesting. I could stair step these. I could put a platform here, put this on it, put a platform there, put it. You know what I mean? 
I could stair step it all the way up with those. Yeah, let's uh, let's actually do that. I think that'll be just be easier to uh, to manage. So I'll put a platform down, and then I can have that run basically in out. That will be easier, I think, than trying to uh, trying to get the belts going up and down all the time. And then, so since the belt's going to go there, we can go ahead and get another one here. And then this one is going to be for the next tier. Which will be that item, which can then go right there. Okay, perfect. This will this will work out. Okay, there we go. Now, is this the best way to do this? Probably not. But are we playing with ideas and having fun? Absolutely. <laughs> that is what matters. Okay, so we should be able to go ahead and just do that. And we should be able to go ahead and just do that. And we should be able to do that for each and every one of these. And then that will give us an option to store the excess. Obviously, I still have to put inserters, but um, you get the point, I think. Okay, so this side is all uh, inserted up. So that means that these machines are going to constantly be running until these storages get full. Now, one thing I kind of wish that these storages had, I wish that they had a, um, like a block out kind of thing to where you could like disable, like, you know, say like, okay, for these, I only want like, you know, a full rows worth. I could like disable like these. So that way it would be, it'd be full. Um, now that might be a future thing. I don't know, because like I said, this game is an alpha. So, uh, we have all kinds of, all kinds of possibilities now. Everything's looking pretty good over here. Um, working on doing the same thing that this side, uh, basically e exactly the same, honestly. Um, we're gonna just go ahead and get these kind of hooked up. I ran out of uh, foundation blocks, so I'm waiting for those to get built, and then we'll go ahead and get these going, and then we can get those stored, and then, oh, <laughs> and then, and then we can decide if we wanna automate the machines or if we wanna make the machines by hand, because if I have the resources, um, I mean, making the machines does take a long time. I'm not gonna lie. It does take a while. So I'm trying to decide if, I, if it's if it's worth setting up smelting systems to make all of the items that we need over there, or if I should just take the items out of these boxes and make them by hand. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know yet. Okay, all of the storages, all of the inserters are. What the heck's going on here? That one didn't connect. I why that one didn't connect. Sometimes they like to connect, sometimes they don't. Or it doesn't want to connect at all. Okay, connected there. There. <laughs> now it'll work. I don't know, I guess I could have connected it right there. Um, everything else appears to be good. Uh, wait, hold on, what's going on here? Oh, you did the same thing. Weird. I don't think I had this issue on the other line. I think it has to do with this thing right here. How about now? Nope. Okay, so now that one's working. I want to make sure these are all filled first. So that one is supposed to be going that way. Okay, so that's all good. That's good. That's good. And we're good. Okay. Oh my gosh. We are golden. We've done the things. Um, oh, it looks like the plant fiber machine is struggling. And it's because we're storing most of it. Yeah, we're definitely storing most of it. Um... You know what? Let's do this. Let's get rid of that one and let's throw... Can I throw a slow one in here? If I throw a slow one in here, it's going to grab less. It's going to meter it down a little bit more. So hopefully this will actually have a chance to actually be making stuff. Okay, cool. Oh, yes. Wow. We've got... um. We've actually got like a, a factory thing going here. Look at that. We got like a bus line. We got bulk storage on both sides. Now, what's nice is that I should be able to just add smell or add these assemblers basically in here going that way. Continue them on if I need more of like one resource. We can go ahead and hit that up. So, yeah, it's very exciting stuff. Okay. Now, we probably should be hitting up honestly more copper, more iron. 
Um, I'm actually kind of surprised at how much we're doing with how little stuff we have. To be completely honest, but at the same time, like it's it it feels good. It feels like we're it feels like we're getting things done. Okay, uh, last thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and increase um, increase copper and iron production because we are running a little we're running a little low. I mean, obviously we don't have that many. So let's go ahead and get five. Let's get ten miners made up here, and then we'll get those hooked up into our new areas and get uh, get everything hooked up to these lines. You know. We'll get those going. So hopefully we can get some more iron. Iron's looking good, but I think it's because we had like so much to start with. Copper is where I'm noticing the deficiency because this line right here, like these lines aren't full. And I'd prefer the lines to be full and backing up than not full and not running. Okay, so we've got some iron here. Now, placing these is always interesting. So it looks like I should be able to place that there. <laughs> And then I think that, yeah, more iron up here. Actually, can we make some of those glow sticks? Oh, you know what? I bet you those are a thing that I don't have. Um, Zero available. Offline, of course. Okay, so this... Looks like we could place it right here. Um, I think we need to build up to this, though. Oh, we might not actually need to build up to it. Oh, that's not a very big deposit. Oh, unless it goes this way. Does it go back at all? I mean, it's an it's an alright little chunk. It's not it's nothing crazy. Get one there. All right, so that looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and clear out some of this so we can actually get back to these things. And can we throw another mining drill in here? Oh, we could throw a couple in here. There we go. Okay, so let's get these. There. Okay. So now all we should have to do is we'll just add this one in here like so. And we'll get some of our inserters in here. Then we should just have to fuel them up. And so that's going to be, oh man, that's going to be so much more iron now. Holy moly, that's going to be nice. And then we got this guy to fill up and we are good. Okay, that's going to increase iron a lot. Huh. We're gonna, actually, I wonder if the belt's actually going to fill up now. I'm actually curious what the, uh, what the belt can actually hold. Like how many items per minute the belt can move. Does it actually say? Automates transportation items must be used with inserters, transfer items between to and from machines. Um, point, oh, and five raw materials. 11, oh, that's just how long it can craft, or like how, how much it is to craft it. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, here comes all of our iron. So now we're gonna have a backup of iron ore, which is golden, but we'll go ahead and get some more smelters going. And then we need to do the same thing for copper. Okay, so I'm feeling like kind of like an idiot right now because I forgot. I, I don't know why I didn't even think about it, but I can just, um, I can use inserters to, to make this like work better. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to put another inserter going in, another inserter go in, going in, and then one going out here. Uh, yeah, why didn't, I don't know why I didn't do that before. I don't know because this is starting to get backed up and I need to, I need, I need fuel. I mean, I need to make sure that fuel is being stored. So like that, that should work because these two aren't running full time. Uh, yeah, that should work. Okay. That's going to help out a lot. <laughs> oh, good. And you know what? Let's actually take a peek at our plants too while we're over here. Plants are looking good. I'd like to get a couple more seeds though. So that way these were constantly filled, but that's okay. All right. Let's look at our iron now. Oh, yes. Oh, we've got a backup. That is... A marvelous, marvelous thing. You know, actually, I think these should all be fast inserters, too, because it looks like they're... Yeah, these all need to be fast inserters. They can't keep up with the uh, the demand. They're smelting faster than they're being brought in. So that means the machines are having downtime, which is... We don't want that. Okay, our iron is officially backed up. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it is officially backed up really badly. Uh. Hmm. Let's go ahead and let's throw this on here. I mean, it's not going to help a lot, but it'll maybe help a little bit. <laughs> All right, that's good enough. That's fine. I, I'm not even worried about it. All right, so we need to do the same thing with copper. Um, but I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to wait and do that in the next episode because that is going to end this one. This one has gone on a little bit longer than I probably anticipated. But um, yeah, we got some things done. I feel like we got a whole bunch of stuff done. We got the smelter stuff going. Uh, let's actually go take a peek at like kind of like numbers of um, that stuff. Not super worried about it. It's this stuff that's kind of like the higher tier stuff. So 430. Wait, what? What am I making? Am I making belts? I am making belts. I didn't even realize I was making belts. Oh my gosh. Um, that's interesting. Okay, we made belts. Uh, we've got, oh my gosh, mechanical components, whole bunch of those. We've got um, some electric components. Those are a little bit slower than the processor units. Okay, cool. Why did I make belts? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, I, I know we need them. Um, those are looking good. And then... This plant fiber machine over here is just not keeping up. What is the deal with this? Takes three plant fiber. And it's refilling like immediately. It's just, it just takes a while to make it. Okay. So that's kind of our bottleneck right now. Um, I'm not going to push that too much though, because like I said, I do need plant fiber to actually even run everything. So... We'll let it run slower. Um, that is the bottleneck for uh, for the. No, it's not though. Actually, because we had some in storage, didn't we? Did we not? Because we've got. Oh shoot! This is before those, or this is after those. So these are never going to get used in that process. Oh. So this storage unit I should have had between the belt here and the, well, that's, there's not enough room there for that. Uh, and be between that and the, um, like the input and the output, I should have had the storage in there. So that way if this backed up, then they would get stored. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Because that's not going to help us at all. Like, those need to go back onto that belt, and those need to go over there. I needed to have the storage, so that way that belt right there, if it got backed up. Hmm. All right, you know what? It's going to look funky. But we're going to hook this up. We're going to do it this way instead. Okay, so that is going to... It's it's going to go through here. It's going to get sorted. And then it's going to put it back onto this line. So it's going to do... It's going to do a little bit of sorting itself. Or like it's going to... It's kind of going to repeat itself. Because this is going to get split evenly between that belt and that belt. And then it's going to go right back into this back around. However, that should increase the throughput of this. Uh, yeah, that'll increase the through bit of that. And then hopefully, because this will keep dumping until this is full. And this is never going to be full because this is always going to be taking. So it's basically just going to forever loop. <laughs> We've got a, we made an infinite loop. I'm sorry. It is what it is. Um, okay. How's everything looking here? Copper. What has happened with the copper? See, we need more copper coming in. All right. Um, enough there. That's it. We're ending it. Thank you so much for coming out. Hope you guys have had a fantastic time. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.